US-guided pancreaticogastrostomy is an endoscopic technique for drainage of the dilated and congested pancreatic duct in symptomatic patients where conventional drainage via endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP, is impossible. In a symptomatic patient reporting pain with a medical history of acute necrotizing pancreatitis and failed endoscopic retrograde pancreatography, ERP, ultrasound reveals a dilated pancreatic duct within the corpus of pancreas, so-called disconnected pancreatic tail syndrome. Transgastric endosonography shows an inhomogeneous and narrow parenchyma of the pancreas, with a dilated pancreatic duct within the corpus and a broad, echo-rich margin indicating fibrosis. The transgastric puncture of the pancreatic duct through the fibrous parenchyma is difficult and hard to perform, but was achieved using a 19-gauge needle with a short and very fast needle drive. Applying contrast media via the needle into the pancreatic duct, control fluoroscopy confirms the dilated pancreatic duct and absent drainage through the papilla, indicating complete obstruction of the pancreatic duct. Under EUS guidance, a 0.035-inch guide wire is inserted through the needle into the duct directly to the tail of the pancreas. The guide wire should be introduced as far as possible to achieve a stable position for the next steps. Under endoscopic control, a high-frequency ring knife is pushed forward over the guide wire up to the gastric wall. With the ring knife and the concentric cauterization, an opening, a so-called gastropancreaticostomy, is created. Cauterization should be repeated two or three times to facilitate insertion of the dilatation balloon or the stent. The great advantage of the ring knife is the optimal depiction of the cauterization tip in fluoroscopy-based imaging, resulting in a much safer interventional step. The stent delivery system, armed with a fully covered metal stent, is pushed over the guide wire to be watched closely using fluoroscopy, as shown here. The stent delivery comprises gastroscopic control and checking the correct position of the stent using fluoroscopy. The favorable position of the intragastric part of the stent should be nearly 1.5 to 2 cm above the mucosa of the gastric wall within the gastric cavity. There is only a low risk of stent dislocation since the gastrostomy site is at the posterior gastric wall. Therefore, a clip fixation of the stent is not necessary. Further, control fluoroscopy demonstrates the correct stent position and diffusion of contrast media into the stomach. On the first post-interventional day, stent position is controlled using transabdominal ultrasound. The pancreatic duct shows normal caliber with air in the duct. The intervention was performed with peri-interventional prophylaxis using the antibiotic ceftriaxone. A self-expanding wall stent creates a new way for the pancreatic fluid to drain. One year after the intervention, six months after stent removal, the patient became symptomatic. At the time, a small orifice was found. A balloon dilatation was performed.